Yo guys, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. My name is Jayster. Today we're gonna be doing a follow-up video to the videos that I have been doing since yesterday regarding the Pokemon. Now this is gonna be with Pokemon 3.3. This is the latest version. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I have had some confusion with the past two videos. Of course, it's kind of been a crazy ride, a crazy mess regarding how to actually install these files. Now, I do want to give a brief note that this is my first time actually modding a game. Never been familiar with doing this, but of course, I'm really enjoying TCG Card Simulator and I love Pokemon. So I decided to actually go ahead and try this out and it worked. So I started doing these videos to try to help others that's what i love to do here on the channel aside from regular gameplay videos we play a lot of horror games live stream if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you guys are new we really do appreciate it. it goes a long way supporting a small creator like me but yeah let's go ahead and start the video so right here we're at the pokey mod by red hex shout out to red hex he's the one that actually made all this possible now before we do anything i actually want to go back over here to steam and I want to get something out of the way. Now, I'm going to actually delete my game and delete the files. So we start from scratch. So there shouldn't be any confusion. So if you guys already tried doing this method, you are going to most likely have files in your system that could potentially corrupt everything. Now, do what I'm doing here. If you guys already attempted this a couple of times, but if you guys haven't attempted to mod and this is your first time, then you guys should just be good to go and you can just skip this. But for those of you that have attempted this, so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is open up right here, go to manage, browse local files. I'm going to go to common right here and I'm going to go ahead and find TCG card shop simulator. Boom. We're going to delete that. Get it out of here. We're going to go over here, delete this as well. We don't want that. So right here, we are good to go. We don't have anything regarding the mod. So all we have to do here is, of course, just uninstall the game. Manage, uninstall, bam. We'll uninstall it. It's gone. We got rid of it. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall it. And we're going to start this from fresh. And we're going to be going step by step. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. So make sure you guys hit that like button. We do appreciate it. So let that download. It shouldn't be long. It's a quick little bit of a download. So boom, there it is. It's downloaded. All right. So the first thing you guys want to go ahead and do is we'll close that and we'll go to the page right here where Pokemon is at. So this is, of course, like I said, with Pokemon 3.3. Shout out Red Hex for doing this. Now, there are going to be a couple of files that you do need to download. Of course, I've said this in his past videos. So, of course, the first one that you want to go ahead and download, you'll scroll to the bottom here is open up different tabs for Pepin ex and texture replacer i already have these open so you'll open them in separate pages right here you'll go to files and then you'll download this right here the bepin x pack for tcg card shop simulator you'll hit manual download you'll be brought to here of course like i said you guys do need an account to be able to sign in and download files so you guys hit slow download once all that is done you'll get this prompt that it's gonna download in five seconds you'll let that do its thing Boom, it'll start downloading and you'll do the same thing for the next one, which is the texture replacer, which is right here. You'll go to files. You'll download it right here. Texture replacer at 1.0.0. Download that sucker and you are good to go. Now, the last thing you're going to need to download here is the Pokemon 3.3. This is the latest version. What's cool about this one is that it's actually future proofing for updates. So when the actual developer of TCG Card Shop Simulator actually updates the game, it won't actually break the game and the mods. So that's pretty cool that Red Hex is on that. Now, the next thing you want to do, of course, like I said, is go to files and download this right here, the Pokemon TCG V3.3 mod. There it is. Bam, I already downloaded it. Of course, same thing download it manual and all that good stuff so i already have them right here bepin x pack texture and the mod right there these are my original files for the game that i did copy you guys don't have to i just did it in case you guys want to go back and actually just transfer your original files and get rid of the mod you guys can just have them right there which is pretty cool all right so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is of course go here and open up Pepin EX pack. Now, what we're going to do actually is copy all these files right here. And this is copy. All right, guys, I'm trying to go slow because I, I want to take my time so you guys actually get it right, you know? So we'll go to browse local files and right here, boom, we'll press that. We'll paste those right in there. They're going to copy right there. Bam, those are in there. Nice. Next step is. Close that up. 
we're actually going to minimize this so we can actually keep it like that so we don't have to be opening and closing is opening up the texture replacer so we're going to copy this folder bam copy we're going to go back over here manage browse local files we open up plugins right here bam so right here you're going to go ahead and same thing we're going to paste that folder in there we're going to close that now the last thing of course is going to be the pokemon 3.3 we're going to copy this folder bam copied we actually can't close that now open this up same thing manage browse local files we're going to go to common right here and then you can just paste that folder right here bam it's going to tell you to replace files you replace them that's good to go and that's it guys you're pretty much done let's go ahead and boot up the game and here we are guys there it is from scratch deleted the files deleted the game showed you guys step by step straightforward it should work for you guys now we're here at the pokemon by red hex now we can load up the game boom and we should be right in here boom you hear the music Woo! nice we can actually just come over here boom you got the packs you can open up your phone see all this good stuff it actually has red hex right there that's pretty cool didn't notice that until now but yeah guys that's how you install the pokemon from red hex straightforward i think this is the best and most straightforward one that i have done and this should be the ultimate guide right here i don't think i will be doing any more i actually want to give you guys another step just because they are going to be updating the mod itself so all right so if we go back to the page right here this is for the latest version 3.3 but of course they're going to keep updating the mod so tomorrow 3.4 can come out 3.5 3.6 of course fixing bugs issues stuff like that so every time there's a new one all you have to do is come to the page i'll have a link down below to make it easier on you guys if you guys want to come back and just follow the page find the latest version of course you'll download it you'll extract the files of course you guys want to be making sure you're extracting all these files let's say this is the new one 3.4 you'll open it up you'll copy the folder right there to see guard shop simulator You'll just copy it, bam, and it'll be the same thing every time there's a new update. You go back to Steam, you'll open this up, manage, browse local files, and right, you'll go to common, and then you'll just paste that folder right there, and it'll ask you again. You guys want to replace the files, you replace them, and bada bing, bada boom, you'll always be ready to go. And that's it, guys. It's straightforward. I think this is the most straightforward, easiest way that I have shown you guys in the past two videos. And hopefully it helps you guys because, yeah, I think if it still doesn't work for you, there has to be something that's going on with your files or something. Because I tried showing you guys with a fresh wipe, deleted the game, deleted the files. Everything was not there. So, yeah, hopefully it does help you guys and it works for you. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.